Welcome back to In Business. Democratic Congressman Dennis Cardoza of California reintroduced legislation this week to stabilize the housing market. He wants to use Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac to offer refinancing opportunities to Americans who hold mortgages through those lenders. He wants to fund the program by having Fannie and Freddie issue new mortgage-backed securities and then use the proceeds to pay off the existing securities. He says the law could help up to 30 million homeowners. He joins us now live from Washington. Uh, good morning to you, Congressman. Uh, interesting, morning, interesting proposal here. I know you've received support from Moody's, Mark Zandi, very prominent economist, uh, Columbia's Chris right. Mayer. Who in Washington is behind you on this? Well, we have 30 co-authors of the bill, of members of Congress who see the benefit in this, and uh, support is growing every day. We understand that there's uh, editorial support coming and that uh, we look to uh, make this happen when the Congress reconvenes. Well, you know, there has been a lot of speculation on Wall Street as to whether Washington might provide some support with refinancing in the near term. There was that October surprise people were talking about. You're talking about something mm -hmm. happening a little later. Um, but uh, tell me, the, the government already had the Home Affordable Refinance Program. That was somewhat similar. What's different well, but about your program? Really What's different is that we're simplifying the process. We're trying to take this directly to the homeowners, letting them unlock themselves from these high interest mortgages that they're defaulting on to a more reasonable rate uh, that, that would help stabilize the market and keep the average American who's paid their taxes, wants to be responsible, wants to be responsible to their mortgage uh, to allow them to stay in their homes. I think that that's a benefit. There's a, if you look at it just from the sheer business perspective, it, it's a, a good business to keep people paying on their mortgage rather than encouraging them to default. If they're locked in at 7% and they see all their neighbors refinancing at 4 their home's underwater, so they're locked in, uh, they're more likely to just hand over the keys. I think that this is a responsible thing to do. It will help the economy. Uh, estimates say that this is a 50 uh -huh. billion, the equivalent of a 50 billion dollar tax cut. Have you talked to any of the existing bondholders, though, um, of these Fannie and Freddie mortgage-backed securities, the first round that would be uh, replaced here, because they'd have to be willing to to accept this program as well. They'll be paid off at par, just like they would be if someone were to refinance their mortgage straight up. So the current bondholders were uh, received a premium when they purchased this. Uh, my understanding is that they will be paid off at total par of the, the, the bond. And uh, uh, so they really wouldn't have any harm, no foul in this at all. But they wouldn't get the same sort of payoff for taking the kind of risk that they are now. Well, that they are... Um, the federal government is acting as the Fed is one of the biggest market makers in mortgage-backed securities right now. Um, we anticipate that they would uh, be able to refinance these mortgages, these bonds, at four, four and a half percent. That would be a tremendous benefit to uh, homeowners uh, to allow them to go from seven percent to four and a half. Mm -hmm. um, we think that that would be a tremendous stimulus to the economy, and frankly, everybody benefits in America when the economy starts to rise again. Yeah, well, um, this idea of refinancing and that as a new focus for stimulus has certainly gotten a lot of attention. Um, we look forward to, to tracking your progress on that and seeing who else you get on board there, Congressman. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Margaret. It's great to be with you today. <laughs> Thanks. Uh,